It has been my goal since I started high school to be the best I could be. I am so grateful to my classmates, teachers, community, and family for supporting me. I could not have achieved what I have without the encouragement and support of everyone here tonight. Thank you. I have had four years of high school with you guys, and I have had so much fun. Through the good times, like watching the teachers dance to Opa Gango style, and the bad times, like switching the tractor for the homecoming parade. I've loved it all. I wouldn't trade it for anything else. I am so grateful to have been a part of this class. I hope and pray that we all reach our goals, whatever they may be. This is what ties us together. After all, even if we lose touch, we have these memories. Memories like falling asleep in class, the Kim Jong Il suit, and Mr. B. Secker's wildcat growl. These are memories we have made together. Our class, like so many before us, is guilty of the word procrastination. However, procrastination is a little harsh. Instead, I would say we are excellent at waiting. In fact, much of our senior year is spent waiting. Waiting for our senior year. Waiting to become adults. Waiting for Mr. Lakin to finally kiss the pig. Waiting for the sun to come out. And waiting for the rain to come back. Waiting to be asked to prom. Waiting for the colleges to decide if they, if they want us. Waiting to see if we want the colleges. Waiting for scholarship results. Waiting to start our life. There's a lot of waiting during senior year, but finally, the waiting is over. Here we are, standing, sitting before you. No more procrastination, no more waiting. We are graduating. And now that the waiting is done, it's time for our lives to begin. We all hope that our lives will be a success, that we'll achieve everything the first time. However, deep down, we all know that's not the case. We are no longer naive, innocent children who believe the world is sunshine, kittens, and double rainbows. Life is hard, but that's what makes it so great. The failures and rejections of life will knock us down. There will come a point where we will think it is impossible to get up. But we will get up because we are from Ferndale, because we are patient, because we are persistent. We will wait. 
Sometimes it's as simple as someone complimenting us or our boss finally noticing all the work we do. We will get up. And that's what makes life great. Not how many times we are successful, but how many times we pick ourselves up from falling. Not giving up when the storm blows in, but patiently waiting for the storm to pass and to see the sun, sun again. That is what counts. Rocky Balboa said, it's not about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. It's hard to take the hits that come at us, but moving past those blows makes life fun. It's the persevering that makes us who we are. Life is a journey, not a destination. Our successes do not define us. The ability to not give up and persist is what matters. So my message to you, class of 2013, go get what you want. Nothing can stop you but you. Be patiently persistent. Never give up. When you believe in yourself, that's when life begins. Congratulations to everyone. We made it. Thank you. Kelsey Elizabeth Myers.